Hello, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mickey Mouse here, and I'm back for some live yet again for the likes of the Mercy Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more of Let's Play of Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom. So, last time we have managed to able to go through 50cc Mushroom Cup, and we did manage to pr basically dominate for everything for that specific cup in mind, and today, we're about to be hitting back onto the forms of today's episode, is the fact that we are still continuing things on with 50cc, except this time around, we are now going to be selecting a different racer. In addition with a different racer, we're also going to be able to go through the next cup, which is Flower Cup. And today's racer we're going to be selecting is, of course, Yoshi, we're going to be selecting this time around. So, yeah, let's get to it with uh, Flower Cup and the first track on that specific cup, and that appears to be Chaco Island 1. Which, apparently, that particular track does not make a return in a future game, sadly, though. But, hey, at least we can able to actually experience this stage as a result. So, yeah, because obviously today's stage is the forms of uh, the 5th of January today, in this case in 2020. So, naturally speaking, because of how the fact that there's not much anything else going on around here for this point, well, apart from that one particular moment where, um, unfortunately though, I no longer have myself Kid Igris Uprising game for the 3DS. Although, don't get me wrong, the actual uh, game itself is not that bad or anything, it's just that, well, the good things about that game though is the fact that the visuals do look very impressive on the 3DS and as well as in that, the story is very good though for what I've noticed and also same applies for the soundtrack as well. Oh man, the soundtrack is amazing. But you know what's the worst downside for that game, for me anyway? The controls themselves because, oh man, I got hand cramps every time whenever I managed to do with uh, well, the chapter I was in right now is chapter 7, which, at the same time, I haven't really get back into it though, probably because of how the fact that whenever I played the game for the first time around, and able to realize about something, I actually got myself my hand cramps. So even then though, because of that though, I was expecting to able to expect to see what happens if I play that game on the new 3DS with the C-Stick and everything. Well, it sadly functions the same thing as the normal circle pad, so this means I can't utilize uh, dual analog stick controls, so naturally speaking, I have to deal with all these hand cramp moments, so yeah, that's the obvious thing about the fact that the reason why I no longer have that game anymore, and plus I had to sell it, so... Regardless of everything else though, I did have a little bit of a rough experience on that game. I'm hoping that will be the case on the, uh, if that game will be ported over to the Switch, because if that's been happened, then I'll be really, really hyped for that, and hopefully it'll be, you know, the better experience for me, compared to the 3DS version, so... But that's gonna be for a later time though, but God knows we'll find out in during Nintendo Directs or something, so... Anyway, so the next track, as you can see right there, we are about to be going back onto Ghost Valley, except this time we are now racing on Ghost Valley 2. Which, conveniently enough, is the fact that that track will make its return until Mario Kart Wii by the forms of the Shell Cup. So, yeah, something's worth mentioning though, because I think I've recognized the entire environment already, including with that particular dash panel, as you can see right there. So, relatively speaking, there's not much else we can able to just to talk about, so... Anyways though, there's also a giant shortcut you can able to take by only getting yourselves the actual feather to begin with, and then once you've done so already, then, you know, you can able to actually get yourselves a nice little, uh, uh, run time for the sake of clarity. I should probably point out, point things out right away, is the fact that every single track in this particular game that is actually pretty darn short compared to the forms of how it does it in, uh, the future games in the series. I think it's pretty obvious because of, uh, this is the first game in the series, of course, and secondly is that uh, you do have five laps to your disposal, which I think is actually long enough as it goes by, but either way though, we can able to get those down in a later down the road, and we once again claim first place, so how about that? So yeah, uh, there's something worth mentioning for this game though, is the fact that this game does manage to able to offer you those rifles that you can actually compete with. Like, you know how the fact that in yesterday, that we did manage to select Toad in Mushroom Cup, and the only rifle you can able to actually compete against with is, uh, Princess Peach slash Princess Toadstall, if you will. And then, if I was going to be selecting Yoshi, which is today, 
and my rival is always have to be Cooper Trooper, which um, we'll point that out whenever we're able to uh, keep on selecting those different racers during the forms of the different amount of cups. So don't worry, we'll discuss more into those during our future weekends and beyond. So, but either way though, we'll just have to mainly focus on those for the time being, so... Oh yeah, something's worth mentioning, by the way, is the fact that you know how Sonic was supposed to be going back onto Kingdom Hearts Final Mix? Somehow he will eventually gonna do that at some point in February, until whenever when some, some of those Let's Plays will be finished by then. Specifically, when it comes to likely Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, which is happening right now, and especially noticeable with uh, Kirby's Adventure Wii, God knows of how long that Let's Play will take. Oh yeah, something's worth mentioning for this stage, by the way, Donut Plains 2. Uh, the actual element of this stage is the fact that you know these little, little Monty Moles, they're trying to able to pop out of the ground? Well, if you somehow manage to get contract with the forms of, uh, those Monty Moles, as you can see right there, in order to actually make them get off you, is that you need to keep on doing some small, small hops, and then if you've done so already, then you can able to actually continue further, uh, uh, beyond for that specific track, so... It's one unclassified that, so even then I just want to, you know, make everything else a little bit easier said than done. And speaking of easier said than done, this is what I mean when it comes to controls in this game can get pretty difficult to get used to after playing the future games in the series. Probably because of how the fact that you need to be super dang precise with all these, uh, drifts and turning and everything like that. Which, even then, it does manage to help you for a bit if you keep on, like, stop accelerating for the majority of the time. But if you really want to go for a higher challenge, which is specifically 100cc, and especially noticeable with the third unlockable class, which uh, we'll point that out during the future parts of this Let's Play, so don't worry, um, it really good, gives you likely a test of patience or anything like that if you're trying to go for the higher challenges and stuff. But I digress. Of course, I got myself my mushroom with me, so if that, if I stop right here and use the mushroom in the process, and that way I can able to win a race that way, so... Kudos to that. I just felt incredibly bad for Toad, by the way, because even then, despite I've already selected him on new forms of the first cup, I felt incredibly bad for him so far for the sake of, uh... Oh, actually, he's in seventh. Oh, okay. I keep on thinking of the forms of, uh, the future character I was gonna be using next for the sake of the forms of the entire Let's Play so far out of it, so... Excuse me. Um... Yeah, the next, uh, track we're gonna be hit onto is, uh, Bowser Castle 2. I think this is definitely one of the more difficult tracks in the game, in my opinion, probably because of how the fact that, well, obviously we still need to come across into ourselves those forms, basically, and second is that there was actually a dead-end section, or luckily for me, I managed to go myself my, uh, Cape Feather, which I might actually save that up for later, until whenever I manage to show you guys the actual shortcut I was going to be showing you guys about this. But not now though, because we have to mainly focus on the actual track itself like this, so... Oh yeah, as for the points value, I'll, I'll explain more on that whenever we get back onto the results screen after we're done with this stage first, so... I think to me though, this is by far is one, of the more, one of the more difficult Bowser Castle levels, because yeah, as you can see on the stop sign, that we were expecting to able to actually go through here, but of course I managed to use the item way too, uh, uh, way too late. That I expected I can able to actually fall off on that stage so easily, so... Plus with all these, uh, flumps keeps getting in my way, so, uh... But then again, I refuse to able to actually go ahead and, uh... Go below 5th or anything like that, because that... Because that again, if you went, uh, 5th or lower position, then you always have to force to able to retry that particular stage again. If you're probably wondering, what happens if you do manage to run out of your lives? Well... Basically what happens there is similar to the forms of the archaic style of gameplay or something like that, and especially noticeable, there's also another uh, Super Nintendo racing game, which is of course F-Zero, where basically if your uh, lives has been gone to zero, uh, this means you have to go all the way back to the beginning of that cup again, so very similar to how it does in the arcade style of, uh, you know, progression in terms of, you know, cup progression and all that stuff, which can be also the same applies for, uh, Super Circuit, if you will, but except the fact that, well, we'll talk more details onto Mario Kart Super Circuit by the future date, so... 
But regardless of everything else, though, I think we actually did this pretty okay. I mean, not the best run so far, but either way, though, we'll just have to able to actually just uh, hope for the best, trying to able to become, you know, number one victorious on when it comes to this stage. But I digress. Oh, so easy to able to get onto this little walls and stuff. Which, that's the only thing about this game is makes it so darn difficult, is because, well, really? Really now? Really, Froms? I hate you. <laughs> I really hate you, Froms. You try to disrupt my progression. And now you're letting Koopa Troopa manage to get onto the first place position right now. And plus, I accidentally got hit by that green shell. Well, whatever. Unless if we're able to claim fourth place, I will be okay. But then again, though, it's just a little bit of a convenience how uh, difficult this stage can be sometimes for me. Hey, <sighs> that was pretty rough in the end. Well, at least it does it pretty decently when it comes to lap 3 and 4, but not much on uh, lap 2, and especially noticeable on the 5th and final lap. And god dang, looks like we're about 1 point above between me and especially noticeable for Koopa Troopa as well. Well, luckily though, we got ourselves a very easy stage at the end, which is specifically, the final track in Flower Cup is Mario Circuit 3. And that particular track will make its return during the forms of Mario Kart Wii at the forms of the Lightning Cup. And similar from that, that track will also make a return in Mario Kart Tour, which again, depending on the actual tour system. So, that's as far as I can say about this, basically. It's just all these little curvy parts that you have to drive through. There's also a shortcut you can take, but I'm probably not going to risk it too much, because if you go onto the actual dirt, you will slow down temporarily, which even then though, that makes it a little bit, a little bit obvious for that point, so... But you know, you get the idea for that solution right there, and plus, um, that again, it might actually take me quite a few practice when it comes to controls itself like this, especially when... You know, if you're trying to go for the curves or anything like that, then you probably get the idea for that solution here, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and avoid these pipes, including that little oil, uh, black oil thing on the road, because if you do slip on that, then obviously... that The only thing about this though, too, is the fact that, as you can tell, we got ourselves 11 coins so far. The only time you lose coins is the fact that if you get hit by the item, or especially noticeable, I think falling off to the actual obstacle might actually also lose your coins. And especially noticeable with uh, slipping up onto these uh, certain items and stuff like that, so... Which I think to me that was pretty obvious for that point. And speaking of which, actually, it's the fact that this might be actually be the only Mario Kart game that most of the characters does not speak at all. I think it's pretty obvious because this is on the Super Nintendo console, basically. Because unlike Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, well, despite with uh, how, uh, you know, how annoying the voice clips were on the Game Boy Advance uh, cartridge on, you know, Super Circuit for that matter, but at least I do appreciate it with uh, the disc format when it comes to Mario Kart games or something, so... Anyways, we claim number one when it comes to the forms of not only Mario Circuit 1, but also for the majority of Flower Cups, so top notch for that. And I think we actually did that pretty okay. Well, not the best run throughout the entire thing, but at least it's still pretty good as it is, so... Despite with, you know, Bowser Castle 2 run, so... Yeah, you get like 9 points if you're in 1st place, and I believe you get 1 if you're in 4th, and then you get 3 for 3rd uh, place position, and then you get 6 points if you're in 2nd place, so that's the actual point system works. So, yeah, we managed to claim the actual gold trophy for, well, it's pretty obvious, for Flower Cup, so... Now, I believe we only got one more cup left until we're completely done with 50cc, and that will have to be Star Cup, so... Yeah, I guess we'll end things off here, so join me until next weekend for more of Let's Play of Super Mario Kart, is the fact that we are about to be concluding the 50cc class, which is specifically the Star Cup. So hopefully we can able to do it flawlessly compared to this, but we'll see what happens there. So see you guys next weekend. Later, fellas.